looks at Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Extreme aircraft will return on Modern Marvels. The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle first flew in 1972. And reigned unchallenged for decades as the world's premier air superiority fighter. But the new F-A-22 Raptor will finally bring that reign to an end. The F-15 and the Raptor fly and climb faster than conventional jet fighters. This enables them to dominate air-to-air -air battles with enemy planes, which means they can deny the skies to the enemy. Hence the term, air superiority fighter. The goal in developing a fighter airplane is really to make certain that you can totally overwhelmingly dominate the opponent. If you look at the F-15, it became America's most successful air combat fighter. Indeed, you can argue historically it's the most successful air combat fighter of all time because it has never been shot down in air-to-air -air combat while shooting down close to 200 opponents in air-to-air -air combat. In 1975, 20 F-15 Eagles were modified to make them even faster. Called Streak Eagles, they set several time-to-climb records that still stand. But the new F-A-22 Raptor is expected to break those records and bring new meaning to the term air superiority. The F-15 is very old in the tooth. You know, if we take a look at our fighter forces today, you realize that if these airplanes were automobiles, they'd be wearing classic car plates. After a testing and validation program lasting four and a half years, the industry team of Lockheed Martin and Boeing in 1991 won the competition to build the next generation air superiority fighter that would replace the aging fleet of F-15s. It capitalizes on a number of technological revolutions and this enables us to get first look at an opponent, first shot at that opponent, and first kill, where we are literally moving out of the fight before the enemy realizes they're being attacked. You can detect him, you can fire a missile on him, and he'll almost blow up before he even knows you're there. So it's not that you're undetectable, but by the time he does detect you, you already have such an offensive advantage on him that uh, it's, you know, it's really not even a competition. The production version of the F-22 design, now called the Raptor, first flew in 1997. Like the F-15 Eagle, it can reach supersonic speeds. But the Raptor can cruise without using fuel-hungry afterburners, giving an enemy less time to engage it. The F-A-22 is also easier to fly. An Air Force pilot who was training to fly the F-A-22 told a bunch of reporters recently on the trip that I took that traditionally a pilot had to spend about 85, 90% of his or her brain power just to attain a situational awareness, just to take the information from each of his sensors and understand what the